episode 2,989 of the number one podcast in Apple Podcast for Job Search. You are listening to or watching No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. You've got a weekend coming up. If you're not looking for work, it's coming up on what's going to be a tough even tougher time as we go into presidential election season. We're also dealing with summer and vacation schedules. Now is the time you really have to push in order to land something. Jobsearch.community will help you avoid making a lot of the mistakes that too many of you make. So take advantage of the free stuff there, but more importantly, become an insider in one way or another. Not sure what to do? Choose the least expensive program. You can always elevate from there as you determine what it is you need help with because you get access to all my video courses, books, and guides. And at a minimum, you can ask me questions all for $49 a month. It's nothing. So instead of being stupid and saving pennies that cost you opportunities, come over to jobsearch.community. It will help you. And now we'll be back in just one moment. Let's talk today about approaching a firm that you're interested in working for. Now, conventional wisdom says you give your resume to someone who works there and have them bring it to the hiring manager as though this is the magic bullet that's going to get you the interview and advantage on getting hired. Now, it can But the thing that most people don't do is find out how close they are with the hiring manager, how close this person is with the hiring manager. You know, I'll give you an example. Someone contacts me. They say, I know this terrific individual. Uh, They're phenomenal. They're swell. They're terrific. Um, And the person who's approaching me is someone I barely have contact with. Like I've been in search and the only time I hear from them I've heard from them is when they ask for their LinkedIn connection request. You know, how much do I really trust this individual? Well, the same is true with people you might be giving your resume to. The goal isn't to give it specifically to someone within the firm, but to find someone within the firm who's well connected with the hiring manager. Now, barring that, you know, you're giving your resume to the black hole uh, because the hiring manager has no reason to trust this individual any more than I have to trust that person who says, this person I'm going to refer to you is terrific, they're colossal, they're swell, and they have nothing to do with anything I do recruiting for, and I don't know this person who's approaching me. You know, there are times where it's better to, to work with an, a friend, uh, you know, to send a cover letter that addresses some of the... Um, the pain points a firm has with hiring someone for this job, or to use a third-party recruiter who's had a good relationship with this firm to introduce you. Otherwise, all you're doing is giving your resume to a different version of the black hole. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, visit jobsearch.community. There's a lot more there that'll help you. In the meantime, I'll be back with more tomorrow. Have a terrific day and be great.